Hi everyone, I'm back. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm gonna get to pour because I haven't poured for like a week. So that is really, really, I've, I've had withdrawal symptoms. So I just wanna get to pouring and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, uh, first off, this is a pour and on this, on this pour when it's dry, and I wanted to do this today because I wanna give it up to Saturday to, um, to dry. I'm going to be using uh, this um, stencil and it's from Daily Art. Yesterday I, um, I googled it because I want to make sure that you guys can find it. Uh, America, I'm not sure. Canada, Australia, sorry about that. He's not there yet, but he's, um, he's really doing his best to get uh, his stencils all over the world. But um, when you google it and you google Daily Art stencils, um, it all pops up for Europe. You get a lot of uh, shops that sell these stencils. So that'd be really cool if you um, were to go there and find them. They are really cheap. They don't cost the arm and a leg. So it, that's totally cool. I love that, that something's cheap and not too expensive because, you know, this hobby is expensive, expensive enough. So uh, we can uh, get all the help we get. You know, it's good to um, make it, you know, worth your while. So um, just do this, Google Daily Art stencils, put stencils behind it and you'll get um, all the shops that sell it in Europe. Now, there's a, a choice I just had to make and the choice I made is, oh, maybe you can see this, the stencil a little bit better on black. See, that's what I'm gonna put on top of the pour I'm gonna do in a bit. So that's gonna be cool. Now. I had to make a choice and the choice was, oh, first let me thank uh, all the sponsors from this month. Uh, tomorrow I'll uh, look what I'm going to do for the uh, giveaway, but up to now these are the people that uh, have sponsored my channel in January 2018. So I want to thank them all and um, I, I really want to say that I really appreciate it. You guys make it possible that I do all these pours. and. The next, <clears throat> I think I'm going to, the next uh, month with the um, uh, sponsors, I'm going to be buying uh, the uh, alcohol ink because a lot of people have been asking me to do alcohol ink. And I think that I'd like to do that, you know, on, on a big Yupo A3, something that size. And I'd really like to um, do a couple of demos, videos about alcohol ink, see what I can do with them. Okay. So thank you very much. Now, I'm, I thought I'd pour on this because the size really, uh, I think it, it really fits the, uh, the uh, stencil, as you can see. So we'll have a lot of open uh, background over here. We'll have the uh, cogwheels in the middle because I do want to use them all. I know that I can, you know, just use a little bit. That's, that's, I've, I've used stencils before, but, you know, I'm going to use the whole stencil on this, on this painting. And... I just wanted um, to choose the background. Now, I had a choice to make because first, this is Vallejo. As you can see, Vallejo just, you know, it's in your face that those colors just pop off those, the canvas and it's really, you know, really intense. So sometimes you have to make the choice um, for the purpose of your painting. So I'm going to do a background. And my main point will be those cogwheels. So I want, uh, if someone looks at the painting, I want their focus to be on those cogwheels that I'm going to put on. So then you have to make a choice be, uh, between paints, because if you use something like this, you know, a lot of the um, intensity of these colors will talk to people when they look at the painting and they'll be looking at the background more than the centerpiece, those cogwheels. So then you have to choose for a paint that dries a little matte. So, and this is, a, this is more matte. So you still have beautiful colors, but on the other side, you really want the background not to be so, so vibrant as the Vallejo. So for this purpose, I'm gonna take the uh, Windsor & Newton Galeria, and I'm gonna show you the colors in a bit. And this is a bit busy, but you know, you can see that this is much more matte, so that's why I chose this paint.
I just wanted to make that clear because I think it's important, you know, that you um, get in tune with uh, how I'm thinking of um, when I build up a painting, uh, the thoughts that come across, the choices you have to make. Uh, I think that's very important. So I uh, took this uh, canvas. It's a, a rectangle canvas. Fits nicely uh, with the uh, stencil because I've already chosen, like I said, to do the whole stencil. Now the colors I'm going to do, I'll put that a little bit on the side. These two, this is a greenish turquoise, this is a bluish turquoise. I've chosen to do a little bit of a dark brown, a really nice red brown, and for the uh, overall background I chose Naples yellow. So the colors, this one here is Naples yellow. And as you all know, well, most of you do, Windsor and Newton, they go from small tubes to jars like this. And they have one size that goes bigger. That's a liter. Uh, but they don't have that in all the colors. Um, you know, the white and the black. They have that in liters. Sometimes I buy a liter because it's, you know, just a little bit cheaper. But usually all I buy all the colors in 500 milliliters. And that's... It says here 500 milliliters. It's almost 17 uh, fluid ounces. So the yellow one is Naples yellow. Then I have this nice uh, reddish brown and that is burnt sienna opaque. Right, that's it. The number is 077. And the number of the Naples yellow is 422. So we had that one and we have that one. Now there's another color um, that I, I use a lot. That's my turquoise. And I always mix my own turquoise. So I use phalo blue, phalo green. That's them. And the numbers are 516, 522. And with these two, I make all my shades of turquoise and turquoise green. Now how to do that is just, you know, you put, if you want it more to the green side, you take your blue and you put in a little bit more green. If you want it more on the blue side, like this one, then what you do is you tone down on the green, not, not as much green, and I mix it with titanium white. So the titanium white, uh, it's titanium, what's in there, it's a wrong number because this is a, uh, a jar of mixing white. This is the right one, as it says, titanium white. It's a 644. So that's how I make my turquoises. Then I have one left that is a beautiful chocolatey color brown. And this time I didn't mix it. I used burnt umber. Burnt umber. And that's number 076. So let me put these away. So getting my palette knife, the other two. So those are my colors. That's what I chose to pour on. And I have to uh, add the uh, silicone. I want a lot of uh, cells, of course. So two to three drops in uh, these um, little plastic thing cups. That's one. That's two. Zip. Three. Four. And that's number five. That's it. Now, uh, I'm going to put it all in a cup. I am going to do a flip cup. I think I will. That's what I usually do, I know. But I think that's the most easiest way to do it. Uh, maybe I'll have some left over and I'll pour on the sides. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So uh, let me put this away. So that is our canvas. I put in the uh, little pegs in the corners. I put in my push pins, as you can see. And the paint is exactly right. As you can see, it pours off the stick like that. 
it is really you know a sort of honey like comes off in one continuous stream as soon as you lift up your you have to really dig it in and then hold it up when you see little chunks coming off that's too thick then you have to put in a little bit more water so when you hold it up like that and it's coming down like that oops you see chunks stop add a little water if it's really coming off in drips then it's too thin then you'll have to go back to the drawing board add some paint or whatever but w when it's dripping it's way too uh way too thin so you have gotta really watch that now we're gonna fill up the cup and because i i'd like a lot of uh, this color i'm gonna start with this one because it'll come out last so that's that and some really nice dark contrasting color a little bit of that beautiful reddish brown that's it and then from up high i'm going to put in my greenish turquoise and why i do that from up high is because then the paint mixes itself sort of i'm doing that again with that one then i'm going to come back in with the Naples yellow. Sometimes I do it from really up close to the cup. As you can see, then it stays on top. This one I want on top also. Because the higher you pour, like if I'm gonna pour this from up high, see how these two are on top? And now, whammo, you just see it gravity makes them all mix up together so that's kind of uh why i do that well i think we have enough here this takes a little bit more than a 20 by 20. uh is the size on there no it isn't but it was oh i threw that away i think it's a 24 by 20 something like that so we're gonna pop it there turn it around we're not going to wait too long because otherwise the silicone comes to the top and we're going to spread it out just like that. Now you can tap on the on the corners, you know, there's still some paint in that cup. And if you just tap them on the corner, that way it'll be easier, you know, to uh, get the paint moving once it's over there. Now, as you can see, there's some nice brown coming through and I'm just letting it level just a little bit not all the way though and now I'm gonna burn it and I'm getting some really really beautiful cells Wow I'll show you in a bit. I'm getting really, really awesome cells. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about, um, about what I see in a bit. Let me first finish off, you know, the whole thing here. I would have liked a corner catcher. Let me see. I'll take a piece of uh, Yupo. Because I really want to keep this sort of in check here so i'm gonna let it come down Ooh, it's stretching like crazy letting it come down here wow look at that going over the side a little and now i want it to come back over here and now it's going to make a an you know a really beautiful this is going to be right there in the center i really love that look at those cells wow that is beautiful i'm really happy with this pouring medium i just hate it that i i've got one blob in the middle i have a blob there i'm going to take that out in a bit i'm not even going to jinx it anymore i'm going to put this on here some paint because I don't really want to move it anymore so if you have that 
you're at the, the point of your painting where you have awesome cells but you don't want to move it then just help it along with your palette knife that's why um, a piece of um, this tool is really worth its money don't be uh, a cheapskate and don't buy a uh, palette knife because you think oh, I can do it with a brush please don't do that because you know it is so worth it I'm just doing the corner now I'm gonna talk a little bit about this pouring medium we get the whole corner use a little okay we're ready yep totally covered I have to clean my hands a little this is an uh, you know I'm not even sure I'm gonna be putting those stencils on top of this thing this is how beautiful this is man it's beautiful okay uh oh I have on a new bathrobe and I've got paint all all across the front oh my husband is gonna kill me Oh, I have to get the blob out. I had the black one and I was going to keep the black one for, um, for painting. And that's what I said, you know, I need a new bathrobe. I said to my husband, he says again, like you're going through bathrobes. Like, I don't know what I said. Yeah, but this time I'm going to keep the new one for, you know, just for in the house. I won't paint with it. I promise. Bingo. Now I got turquoise all over the front. Okay. Now I'll give you a close up. Really, really, really close up. Look at those cells. Cool or what? That is so gorgeous. Ha. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love with this. Now the thing is that this is the new, new Vallejo pouring medium. Let me get you in focus. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Th this is the new Vallejo pouring medium. And, um, uh, Alex has been, um, developing this for quite a while. And I know that, you know, the first time I showed you, um, people were already asking, when is it going to be uh, for sale? When we c can we order it? But I got to tell you, and this is what I learned from the uh, Frankfurt Messe. Um, Alexey, he just, you know, he is so passionate about his company. He says, you know, I just want to give the people something that will totally blow their minds away. And it has to be exactly, you know, what you, what you guys, you pouring guys, because, you know, this is the first time he's making stuff for people that pour. But he says, I want you to give you something that is so totally amazing. So just let me work on it a little more, a little more. And this is th almost the end result. This stuff is totally amazing. And I wish my husband would turn off his car. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So he said, I want it to be totally amazing. And I want it to be something that, you know, is so far above all other pouring mediums because that's what he is he stands behind this product and i love that about him so that's what he's done and look at the result it is beautiful now i want to get a, rid of a few little air bubbles that's important and this is the way i always do it you know i just come from up high because you don't want to really um you know create more cells you just want the air bubbles to go Not that it's really um, very important because I'm going to be doing the cogwheels on top and I'll be using more paint. Maybe a little bit here. So one big one. <coughs> now what I normally would do is I'd give it a little bit more time, you know, after mixing to uh, let the, um, the bubbles come to the top, you know. Um, like this I'd set my as you can see there are little bubbles in there I just set it on the uh, sit it on the, uh, the the table just do this a couple of times a couple of times fast and it'll all come to the top and then you can just uh, make sure it's out because um, 
I just mixed this and went straight to the video because I want to do this today. And it's uh, almost, let's see, it's 5.40. So I want to have some dinner, but I, I really wanted to do this. I was, I was really happy thinking just, you know, pouring. I wanted to pour. So I love it. It's totally uh, amazing. Now I know there's not much color going on, but that's what I chose for, you know, it, when I set out to do this pour, I had in the back of my mind, it can't be too many colors. Uh, it shouldn't be popping up from the canvas because we're going to do these beautiful metallic cogwheels on top. And we don't want to have people, you know, being awestruck by the background. It has to be all about the cogwheels. So I think we've, um, we've ac accomplished what we set out to do. So it's, it's nice. It has beautiful cells. Um, it has uh, colors that are pretty much mute. So they don't just pop off the canvas in your face. That's good. The balance is there and perfect. I really, really, um, I'll show you one more close up because this bit here is awesome. Let me get in really close. Look at that. Look at those cells. They are just something else, aren't they? I really love them. <laughs> they are something else. Okay, I'm happy with it. I'm going to let it dry and then... Um, oh, I still have a lot of paint, I see. Well, maybe I'll do another pour, a little one. And then we can do a little stencil on top, you know, half of the stencil or something like that. I'm not sure. But this is going to stay like this. I'm going to let it dry. Um, one more thing that is very important. Um, as you saw when I uh, poured the uh, painting, sorry, it's not in focus. When I poured the painting, you saw me stretch out a lot of these cells. Now, having a good pouring medium is okay but the pouring medium has to have one quality and that's really important and that is that it can um, have a cell and you can stretch out the cell and that this stays intact all these veins you see they have to stay intact you don't want to have them uh, broken up in, in little bits because i you know maybe it's personal but i'm i'm sure a lot of you will agree with, with me if they start breaking up all over the place it's not really appealing to the eye because you want to look at those cells and you want to see, you know, the circular thing and you want to see maybe a double ring like we see here and you really want it to stay like that. When you're stretching it, you really don't want them to break apart. Even here where you, I don't think you can almost see that. Let me point it out a little better. Here are cells but they are the veins are really really thin like hairlines and they are still intact now here you see uh, the bigger ones intact here i really stretched them over the side all intact here i stretched them all the way down and i'll show it when it's dry i can't of course i can't show you the sides now but it is you know that is what we're looking for we're looking for a uh, stretchy substance that will let us stretch those cells out because a lot of people like the big cells and you want everything to stay intact and that's what this stuff does so I'm pretty happy with it I'm gonna write him an email uh, right after I post this video and tell him all about it okay guys um, that's uh, that's it from me for today when I uh, have this dried up I will um, I think I'll do this uh, this weekend because I want some time and I, I don't want to rush myself. I want to put that stencil on. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I think I might just outline it, then come in with um, some beautiful copper or bronze, and then I'll build it up from there. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we do. Okay, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle, hoffe jullie allemaal. And I will see you very soon because I'm not going to do this one and then stop and do the rest this weekend. I think I'll be pouring every day this week and then this weekend I'll make it up uh, for not posting a couple of days and I'll do a lot of videos. Okay, love you all to pieces. Bye-bye.